Virginia's Democrats are holding their primary on June 8th, and we are breaking down the statewide races. 10 News reporter Tim Harfman spoke to both Democratic candidates for attorney general on why they're the best fit to serve the Commonwealth. It's a head to head battle with two candidates vying to be Virginia's Democratic nominee for attorney general. The incumbent, Attorney General Mark Herring, against Delegate Jay Jones. Herring became Virginia's AG in 2014 and was re elected in 2017. I've shown that not only can I do the job, but do it exceedingly and abundantly well. Jones was elected to the House of Delegates four years ago and currently represents Virginia's 89th district. I have the fresh face, the new perspective, the bold agenda that voters will be looking for in November. Herring says he created the Civil Rights Office to root out discrimination and vows to continue his work. I would say criminal justice, uh, addressing inequities in race, the systemic racism that we know continues to persist around the state. Justice reform is a priority for Jones, including transparency for law enforcement. You got to end qualified immunity, hold police accountable for uh, the instances of excessive force. He says it's something Herring refuses to face. He has been silent and sitting on the sidelines, and he refuses to use the powers that we've given him to investigate black men who have been gunned down by law enforcement. Herring disagrees, saying he's called on Congress to pass the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. It would do so much to elevate the standards of policing. It would create a national registry for police misconduct, and it would put an end to qualified immunity that too often has served as a shield to protect law enforcement from real accountability. The nominee will face off against Republican Delegate Jason Miares in November. To learn more about the candidates, head to WSLS.com. Tim Harfman, 10 News, working for you.